the Angels. February 6, 2016, by Ann Albers, The Glass and Water. The Angels. You have a saying upon your earth, better to see the glass half full than the glass half empty. We agree. There is so much to celebrate upon your beautiful planet Earth. We would also add. Better to see and celebrate the glorious glass and the wonderful water. Can you imagine that sand is melted to make your glass? Furthermore, can you imagine that the very water that your glass holds, may have once been the water in the ocean that held the sand that became the glass? It is a breathtaking experience to contemplate the simplest things upon your earth. In doing so you will gain great appreciation for all of life. The sand was once rocks tumbled by the ocean. The rocks may have been worn by winds and rains before they tumbled into the sea. And so dear ones, the water shaped the rocks that got tumbled by the water, then became the glass that held the water, and so on life circulates in all its magnificent forms, much as you do. Breathe now and take in life itself. The breath you breathe has traveled through winds and seas, been inhaled by people centuries ago and then exhaled, breathed in by trees and exhaled once again. The water on your planet connects all of life. The air connects all of life. You cannot ever be alone. Energetically you swim in a sea of love, and even physically you are woven together by the simplest elements of water and the air you breathe. Breathe in. Imagine you are taking in all the frequencies that will support your health, vitality, joy, and well-being. Exhale, imagine you are releasing all that does not serve you, for in truth it may serve someone else. Now if you are willing, get yourself a glass of water. Hold it in your hands and contemplate the miracle before you, this water may have been in oceans, rains, geysers, and glaciers. It may have traveled by river, streams, or steam. It has seen things you will not even imagine in this lifetime. It has been in the air and in the ground. It connects you with life. Bless this water. Thank it. Intend to take in all the energies that can serve you in joy at this time. Then sip your holy water slowly and intentionally, taking in the force and diversity of life itself. See how you feel. Dear ones, we love you. We know that you are never separate from one another, never separate from creation itself. We know you are woven in a beautiful tapestry of life, a web of love that connects you all. You cannot do anything in isolation, and you can never ever be alone. Even the angels weave through your being right here, and right now, as you read our words. Shut your eyes for a moment and drink in our love too, as much as we willingly and joyfully drink in all that you are too. The Angels